I'll just meet you up there. I'll save you the hike this time around. I hated ferns before, after this season. And there's the well. It's uh, half of a mouth harp, a Jew's harp. If you see the jimping, it's part of a thimble, so. Who knows what the rest of this episode is gonna be like. Well, hey everybody, welcome to a, another uphill day. Another uphill not Thursday in New Hampshire. You know, I'm going looking for a cellar hole and sometimes I wonder, is it worse to know where you're going or not know where you're going? I gotta go up and up and up and I've already been going up and up and up. This should be a colonial site up there. I know this looks terrible, but I'm sure there's light at the end of the mound. This is one of those average terrain lifts around here where 15 to 1600 feet uh, is about the peak. So realistically, I've probably got four or 500 uh, climbing feet up to the top of this. But I'm pretty sure there's something up there, so. I'll just meet you up there. I'll save you the hike this time around. And I'm back. Probably close to half an hour. Definitely over a mile. And I just popped up at a corner wall. Finally. It's got to be in there. So... We have entered the farm I'm looking for. Now it's just a matter of decoding the landscape here. Figure out where the house at. Signs of life right there. Another stack over there. And there's the well. We have landed at the home site. It's funny, a few years ago, <clears throat> we would have been like, wow, it was over a mile out off the, you know, civilized road. Now, give this a mile and a half. That's like, oh good, that's all I'm glad it was. Granted, it was uphill, but that wasn't too bad. All right. Let's turn on the machine, see if there's anything in the ground. Well, there's the first signal. Small button to start. Extremely thin. So, little sleeve button, very thin shank, but there we go, we're off and running. Upper 30s, solid though. Oh, nice. Wow, that rang up low. It's uh, half of a mouth harp, a Jew's harp. Don't find too many of these, so that's pretty awesome. I thought it was a, a nail, a bent over nail when I pulled it out, but obviously not. I was just gonna say, sounds like a casing. Similar numbers as that casing, but sounding deep like that makes it interesting. It also makes me think it could be lead, which doesn't seem to have the response value that other things have and always sounds deep. But not that lead's a bad thing. Lots of cool things made out of lead back then. Or it's an iron buckle. So, 
that's what we got. Ugh. 22 casing. Well, I've been around this thing a few times. It's painfully obvious. Somebody has dug here within the last two years because their plugs aren't clean. And uh, there's no high tone signals. Look at the relics I dug all low. So, I have to make a decision whether to pick at this place really hard, orbit every inch, work the iron, or do I take a hike out further to see if there's another site, which more than likely was hit by the same people or person. And it's a washer. So you can see signals were missed, but I don't know how we're gonna do here if we spend a couple more hours. Uh, let me think on that one. All right, well, got my pack on. I'm walking around the site. I got this signal. May sound solid, that's only because I kicked up a bunch of earth. It sounds deep. It might actually be inside of a plug here. Could be an oxen shoe. Casing. So whoever was here, put it back. All right, walk a few more. Well, thought it was gonna be a 22 casing. If you see the jimping, it's part of a thimble, so. I'm going to go out there. So, who knows what the rest of this episode is going to be like, but I don't think I'm going to find anything else at this location, so. It is quite remarkable that here, in this part of New Hampshire, how clearly evident it was when somebody cleared land I mean, you jump out of the living space, and that's a small site, and immediately you just get into unusable land. Look at all these rocks. I don't even think this is sheep-worthy. So I'm navigating through. Rocks, pits, and such. That's why at times it's a no-brainer find these old colonial sites because what they did to the land leaves behind a story and the signs and you know just like how I found this one today and how I'm gonna find the next one take the path of least resistance always you find a game trail and it's going in the direction you're going get on it or up here as you can see, it's peaking and there's outcrops of rocks. So it makes it easier to walk along. Wow. And with all the rain, we still need more rain. Brooks are rather light. Whew. It's a jungle out here. Well, I think I'm at the back wall. And it looks logged. Hopefully it's not too bad. So much of this, you know, uh, open space, town property, public land, whatever, gets logged because, you know, that's money in the budget. It needs it. In most pa places it's due. And the forests become rather unhealthy if they don't clean them. But it doesn't do much for us reading the land. All right, let's look around. We gotta be getting close, it's been a while. Well, it's a lot later and a lot further than I thought it was going to be. Man, I hated ferns before, after this season. Oh. Well, I think it's up here. If it's in this mess, I've been a 
useless trip other than just locating the site. All right, I gotta put this down because it's all thorns and icky stickies. I gotta get my hands over my head so I don't rip my arms off and lose my gear. Oh, I found it. That was terrible. What a barrel full of monkey nuts. <laughs> I've been on site here for 15 minutes trying to locate this in the ferns and stuff. Hmm. The, you know, the thought and the part about it is I've got to go back through all that. Well, at least now I know where it is. And uh, it's been quite some time. I am four miles into the day. Factor in all my detecting walking, I probably got two and a half back. All right, I'm gonna find a few things, assess the ground conditions, and then get the hell out of here and come back. Too much for one day. Wow. So you say, why would you only stay a little bit? Because of the ferns and logging mess, there's not much ground to swing over as it is. This is a late fall, early spring kind of site. So for right now, I'm limited to small open patches of ground. Oh, thank you. Tomback button. Good. Well, that didn't take long. So, mission accomplished. We got a relic out of the site, something from the 1700s. But I'll swing in this little patch here. A few more. Unless it's really good and then we'll stay in this little patch. I don't know. I have swung or been swinging over every little stitch of clear ground I can find. This sounds obnoxious. And it's not deep because I'm on rock. Could be anything. Those numbers. Oh, look at that. Well, we have a buckle with animals still on it. So, that's kind of interesting on its own, finding the leather. I don't know. Well, I think we're doomed until the vegetation goes away. Well, that is it. I'm gonna get out of here. Think of how much footage I didn't show you guys to get out here. For me to say it's bad, it's bad. I just don't look forward to all the, you know, the hundred acres plus. It's probably more than that, actually. Because it took me 40 minutes to get from the last site to this site. So, it's probably a mile of logging mess that I gotta go back through. Plus side is, two sites were found. A few things at the other one. One button here, and a buckle, actually. But the site was found, so hopefully, you know, uh, as we always say, sometime around Thanksgiving, before it snows, we can get out here and be able to see the actual terrain. Amazing these sites are even out here. No roads, no nothing. All right, everybody, get out and explore your world, and I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy your not Thursday.